As long as we set our stand, stand up and our table up so it's really well presented, no creases down the side, get all the bubbles out, etc. Nice clean top, everything's clean. Our, uni our, our, our cups are all uniform. I like a, a three by three grid. We put the cocktail four pack, so we go into this into the store, we make sure it's merchandised on the shelf really well, so it's really well presented. We've got visibility in, in, in either in the chiller or in the stand where our products are. But what we do do is we bring some of the product that are on the, on the shelves and we put them for sale on our stand. So it's very easy for a consumer to just pick it off the stand and go. And that's a really key aspect of selling liquor in stores because people are in and out very quickly. You want to just make it easy for them. You might even get to the point where you've got a super busy store, you might stack them up next to um, your stand. And I've done that at Liquor, Liquor Land Forest Hill, for example. I've had cases of drinks right here and ready to go because they've got so busy, I was selling two, three, four, five at a time um, and I couldn't keep up. So as opposed to directing people back, back to the chiller, I had it all ready to go right here. Now, it might be cold, but it's fast turnaround. So, you know, they can take it home and chill it. That's really important. You'd have one of each flavor. Now I've just got the mixed boxes to demonstrate what we're talking about. But you'd have one of each flavor and a mixed on the end. And you might even build a little pyramid of, of things with your ice bucket just there, okay? Um, I have got a ginger and blood orange, but we have the four flavors. So these are the ones that you're tasting. Um, have those, you know, presented. I like them two, three, three deep here. So it looks really, really professional. Um, along with the cups being in the nine grid. And while we talk about the key call outs on this particular product, is it's a collaboration. So it's the Wellness uh, Tonics from No Ugly, and in this case, it's the antioxidants from No Ugly and the low sugar, etc., and all the natural ingredients, um, coupled with Denzian Gin from Wellington. Now, Denzian Gin is from an urban distillery. It's right in the middle of Wellington, just off Cuba Street. Um, and they won Best Gin in New Zealand last year. It's actually a London Dry Gin, and a London Dry Gin has to be audited by uh, the gin authority in the, in the world. Um, and it's a particular uh, style of gin that's obviously really dry, but it's the right amount of juniper berries. And juniper berries are what makes gin, gin. You know, otherwise it's just pure alcohol. So you've got to put those botanicals, in this case, juniper berries, with the, uh, in the fermenting, uh, sorry, in the distilling process, um, and what out pops out is a London dry gin. They got best gin in New Zealand, so we approached them and we did a collaboration with our wellness tonics with their gin to give us, in this case, a plum and pomegranate conscious gin cocktail. Why we call it conscious is because it's less than 99 calories per serve. Um, it's got really, really low sugar and it's got actually the antioxidants in there. We don't call those out so uh, apparently on the, on the bottle um, purely because um, it's a little bit grey on whether we're allowed to do that or not, but it actually has it in it, so you can say that when you're doing tasting. And that's the grapeseed extract, apple extract, green tea um, extract, um, and white tea solids. So you're getting a little bit of naughty and nice in there, and that's the conscious aspect of it, right? Um, three, uh, four flavours, you've got the plum and pomegranate, and these are delicious cocktails. You can pour them straight over ice with a garnish if they're in, in a bar situation or at a party. Great for parties and, and a cocktail party and bar serve. Um, cucumber and yuzu. People ask about what is yuzu. Yuzu is a Japanese lemon. Yeah, it's pretty hip right now, but it's also really quite a pun uh, potent tasting lemon. That's really um, that's really super popular in summertime. Um, and then cranberry Brazilian lime. Brazilian lime is a certain type of lime. Obviously, it's really juicy as well. Um, and the other one is ginger and blood orange. Yeah, I'm not going to taste these today because I know I've got lots of work to do this afternoon. But again, you put in just a third of a cup. And what I do is I get people there, I open the bottle, I pour it in, yeah, and they taste one, and then I say, right, you've got three to go. <laughs> and then they got two to go, they got one to go, then they got none to go, right? And then, then they can make a decision on what they want. But you just don't let them off the hook. They've got to taste them all. And think of this, when you're in a, in a, in a liquor store, because people are buying liquor, they're usually trying to have a great time, right? They have, they're about to have a great time, so you think, you're an entertainer in that environment. You're, how, how are they going is what's most important and how you're going to accentuate what their good time is going to be. Yeah, choice.